Hello and welcome to Stonehearth in the Pentonian Vale. Today guys, I'm gonna start working on a barrack for our soldiers that was suggested by you guys for a few times and I'm gonna start working with that. I'll be looking for some good inspiration of how I might want it to look. So, what do we want for the barrack? We want to have... so, it will have sleeping quarters, it will need also to have like a training ground, and... Uh, I would love to have like at least one tower that makes it possible for them to, to scout pretty far away. So that's what I want to have as some base idea for this. And where are we going to have this beautiful barrack? It's actually leaning towards for me to use this area over here. Not the entire area, but use quite a bit of it. And I might actually consider having it fairly close to the water. And that means we will be changing around a little bit of zones down here, so we're going to be Removing our trapping stone from here, and we're gonna chop down a few little trees. A beautiful tree, friends. It's gonna have to go away and live somewhere else, and uh, we're gonna be making some barracks. And I also do have some apple trees. I think they can still be around there, but we're most likely gonna need to take them down sooner or later as well. So the training ground is gonna consist of both training dummies for our soldiers, like our footmen, to be able to slash them with their weapons, and we're also gonna have so we can have some archery training in the background as well. So there we go, let's see if so we don't have any more of some... Yeah, we do have a beehive over here, we gotta get that away because we can't assign where there's a beehive. And I'm not entirely sure, but it could be maybe wise to have some kind of wall around the barrack to make it a little bit of a defensive position. So how people can escape there if it's getting dangerous in town. And our archers can get up on the walls and be like an... I guess maybe a last defense inside of town, something like that maybe. But we should be able to design now. So this episode, guys, is going to be a lot of designing. And it's going to be probably going to be a lot of going back and forth with IDs. So let's get busy with this. So I want to do kind of as i done with a few houses to make them a little bit looking like they're elevated. I'm not sure they're going to be, but it's kind of nice to have it like that to change how it looks a bit. So let's grab the column with the pipa tool over here and we're going to start making things. So a training ground. With some arrows. I'm not sure if we want to shoot next to the water, but we shall see. Let's start with something. This could maybe be the um, one of the barracks, like one of the places where our soldiers will be sleeping inside. One of those buildings. And uh, what we can also do is to have so you can go under this because maybe our soldiers need to store something under it. So you can do it pretty easily with doing like this. Just get out of the way. And that means we can put like a door so we can get inside here from outside maybe. So let's start with that one. I also need to have a little beautiful floor down here. And since it's down the bottom, I think we're gonna go with stone. Something like that. And we're gonna go into... yeah, let's do that directly because it might be covered up later. So we're doing a little bit of detail. What I like to do when coloring is to just add a few pieces here and there and everywhere and see how it comes together. Sometimes I like to do a few places where I place 2x2 two two like that. And then I start to fill in a few little spots to make it feel a little bit more interesting. But I feel like a lot of this is on the feeling when doing it. Then I maybe add in a few brighter spots, not too many of them. And then leave space for the other ones. Another way you could do it would have been for the bottom to be darker and it would go up like that, that's also possible. And it actually looks pretty good, depends on how you want it to look. So, some kind of basement down here, maybe they will have their own kitchen at the barrack. Because if everything goes to a bad state in the game, maybe we need to be able to still survive and thrive down here. Maybe not thriving, but at least surviving I guess. And then I think it's a pretty good idea to have your own kitchen, your own supply in here. If everything goes bad, right? So, let's start with making a little kitchen down here. And I'm gonna use a wooden wall this time. And let's go into some uh, cooking. So we're gonna need a pot. Gonna need like a cauldron. 
stone cauldron for the cook. We only need to have one cook in here. I don't think we need to have more. And maybe I want our people also to have a little kind of like eating a hole for them to eat and stuff like that. It depends. One reason we may not want to have it is because we might want our people to favor visiting our tavern, so we might skip that, but maybe a small little place for it, just in case uh, we need to have it sometime. So there we got a little wall, and maybe we can make a, like, a little window here, and maybe that will be where the people will be ordering food. And I've got a question about this town, by the way, that some people want to have um, the templates of this town. And the idea for now is that uh, once I get further with this one, maybe when this series ends, we will, I will be sharing those templates so you guys can use them as well. But I will have to go through them because there's a lot of mods involved in this playthrough. I gotta make sure it works for you guys so you don't run into a lot of problems, right? But um, I'm considering it and most likely gonna happen. And I think the next time that I do a town, I'm probably gonna start pretty early with sharing templates. So you guys can get them pretty much directly when the new series starts with Stone Harp. Okay, so here we have some cooking. I guess we can maybe change the floor a little bit. I kind of like doing that because it makes it stand out a little bit from the rest of the building. Doesn't have to be very special. Just a few random colors will do. Just a little corn like that. Order some food over here. Drop it through the window. That's where they serve it. And we can also have maybe a little shelf down here. So you can decide when doing these kind of builds. Like, do you want to do the build and tie thing? And then go back to putting decoration. And that is usually how I do things. Because you can see the results a little bit faster. But this way it's a little bit easier to look through your building and put the things you want to have. We probably want to have like a candle on this one. That one can sit like that. We have a little bit lighter, and I don't think we have to add too much more things. We could do like a uh, potential candidate for a stair to get up to the second floor or get down to this floor if we want to have that. I think I do. So I'm gonna make a stair in this corner. I see we have a few little logs here, so I'm maybe gonna see if I can get my people to maybe loot a little bit of that. What we could do is to disable building or stuff like that for a while, and then they might take it. Or we can disable job that will make uh, your crafters and so on go and do a few other things. Maybe let's do that for a little bit. Let's only do hauling for a bit and see what's gonna happen. They're hopefully gonna be picking up a lot of things. So since we're waiting for that, maybe we can continue a little bit with designing. So then the idea is to have another one on top of this. And uh, we're gonna kind of match what we got under here. And let's change the columns to be a brown one. I prefer to have it like that. Then we're gonna lower the wall one or two steps. A lot of times recently I actually lower the wall one or two steps. I think it it make it look a little bit nicer sometimes. I'm just gonna lower this one one step though. we we'll do it like that. And now when we're gonna split up the walls. gonna drag this out and I think I'm gonna match what we got here because I think I'm gonna have another building that goes here but I haven't decided if it's gonna go at the both floors or just the upper floor it could be kind of fun maybe if it's only the upper floor to make it look a little bit more interesting like that and you know what we could even do here if you want to they could kind of have their own little Arbor kind of like they can now have their escape boat or something like that. That would be interesting. If everything goes bad, we have a way to get away from here. I think that's pretty awesome. So let's change the floor. I want to have an a wooden floor. Maybe that one looks pretty good. And then we're gonna color this. We either we make it like that or we make it in stone. But I think I will make it like this. Ordering a building can really change overall how it looks. Like adding a few little parts like this. Or maybe you prefer doing that to some building. We can maybe only do the little hedge down there. Or maybe do it like that. There's so many ways to recreate it with colors. But I like doing it this way. I feel like it tends to work pretty good and pretty decent for what I'm doing. And uh, we could also have some straight lines like that. 
then we can have maybe some windows. Let's see how that would look. I don't know if there's going to be a path here. It might be. But we could have like some windows, maybe some... We could have tall ones. I'm not sure if I want to have that there though. Or we can have some small ones. From the glowy window mod for anyone who want to get it. Uh, let's try these ones. And uh, like I said, the middle... I might maybe making a little bridge from that. So... This is going to be a sleeping quarter then. And we have to make a stair come up over... I think it's around there. Let's see. Let's continue with the stairs. So let's go down to the first floor. And let's continue working on this one. So like that should be fine. Go up to the next floor. And let's see. Let's see, can I remove that? Yeah, we could remove that. We don't have to have these, actually. Yeah, let's remove that. That will give us a little bit of extra space on the inside as well. Doesn't really do anything. Yeah, let's go like that. And now we should be able to get up. We need to have free in height of clearance. And that this will do then. Then we go up. So, like I said, this is going to be a bear for soldiers. And I'm not going to make separate rooms for this one. Because they're going to sleep in kind of the same room. And what kind of beds should we have? I think we should have some pretty fancy ones. Because we got to have well-rested soldiers. And I'm going to go for the blue bed. It feels kind of, I don't know, a little bit royal to me at least. So do we have four beds? And we can even have a few more, like maybe one more on this side. And then we maybe make a bridge over there. So that's five soldiers. How many do we have in town actually? Pretty sure we have more than that. We can see it easily here. Nine, okay. Maybe we'll make another sleeping quarter. Yes, we can have every soldier living here. Depending, maybe though, this Banto is considered a soldier, but he's the lord of the town. And maybe, I don't know, he should live inside of the barrack. But maybe he will. Maybe he will live up on, in a tower. I think we wait maybe with the bridge. Should I pull it out already? Maybe. So let's give it a try. Let's take it like that. And then we can drag this out. To create like a little bridge there, so that's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's a pretty good length for this one, I think. And if you want to, you can also take these and maybe lower them a step or two. You know, just to kind of make them look a little bit different. I think that's a good idea. And if we decide later, we can just drag it up, no problem. So we'll have another building that it attaches to here, and then we can walk under here. And I might move this door. I haven't decided. I may move it over... Maybe under there. That was kind of the original ID that I had for it, but I wasn't sure if I was going to do a bridge or not. So there we go. Maybe there we can do this way instead. A beautiful barrack. A little bit of coloring is missing on this one. Here we go, awesome. And we're gonna work on uh, the roof later. And on uh, the roof of buildings, in my opinion at least, they really, really change how a building looks in so many ways. Here I'm kind of thinking of having a decently big one. And uh, kind of like almost like as a tower. Uh, let's first, before we continue, it's gonna be kind of like support. And we're gonna have the same at the other side. Let's give it a go, and uh, let's see, we're gonna find the position that we wanna have. Let's drag this up, and it's kinda easy, we can pull this down, we can drag it towards the other one, really, really easily, and get it in the correct position with this one. But now we're gonna get the size we wanna have. And here we got a 10 by 10, and we're gonna go with odd numbers, so we're gonna go probably 11 by 11. Like that. Like I said, a pretty thick one. And this is going to be a two or three store tall, this one. Uh, the first one, we're going to lower this level. So it's matching what we got on the other side, pretty much. I think it is matching now. Yeah, it should be. Then we can drop another floor on this one. And uh, usually I kind of prefer to make them go a little bit like that. I'm not sure if I will, maybe. Maybe just on one side. That this side and this side. This one I may leave kind of tall, I think so. 
rhythm height of a room is really tall. Kinda almost forget how tall they are since I've been doing a little bit of smaller sizes on the roof nowadays. But I think it's a nice idea to mix and match with the different kind of sizes on the walls. So it makes it more interesting. So here we gonna have a door to get to the other side. Walk through here, awesome. Into this kind of like, almost like as a tower building. And on this one we can do a little bit of lag like this. Like doing those. And uh, to get into this one, we can go from here right, but it's not gonna be the only place where you can go into it. So I'm gonna do maybe a door... Should I do it? one right under here maybe? Then we'll do a little support like that. And if we want, we can actually make it go all the way down. I may, may actually do that. Might look a bit better. And it should probably give a little bit of extra support, so... Win-win. And yeah, if we're gonna do the same here, let's do that. Recolor again. There we go, and then we're gonna change these ones. Okay, looking pretty good. We're gonna probably be mixing a few things, like here we don't have any stone at the bottom, we could do that though. Um, but first let's change it to brown and then we're gonna grab some stone color from over there. And we're gonna change like the bottom layer only. Or what we can also do would be to add this around it. Let's do that. It can be kinda nice. Then I like to remove the corners because it gives it even more shape to the building. It would be like that, so they look a little bit different, but I think it's looking pretty good. And if you do anything big like this, remember to do a save every now and then. I have had my game crash several times while doing the coloring, so we gotta be careful, gotta make sure we do the saves. So what we can do here also, maybe for the side, should we leave it like that? Uh, let's maybe do that. So for this one, I'm thinking of, you know, we made it a little bit bigger here, right? But I think for the next floor, that we'll make it a little bit smaller again. We can create an interesting roof that way. Let's give it a try at least. And this one, we're gonna lower it to like, something like that. Doesn't need to be higher because we're also gonna have a wall like that. I'm gonna plan the inner stairs later on. So let's start coloring a little bit. We go and... The what color should we have for roof? I think we should kind of match what we got in town. So either it will be this, this yellowish or it will be the brownish. I kind of like the brown colored roof though. So I may go with that. And idea first I had was to do this thing and I might do that. The other way would be to add one of these here as well. And kind of like make a little roof attach it here. It will be its own little extra roof pretty much. And I might do it like this. Maybe. I guess we're gonna experiment. Let's give this version a try first. And uh, to make it a little bit more interesting, we can do a little bit of coloring to make it pop out a little bit more. Maybe like that, or we skip the middle part. And we're gonna return experiment more with it, and we're probably also gonna be adding in like a little roof to the side here. Which might be going like one step down like that. That could be possible. And for the roof on top here, it's going to be a lot taller. But this one's going to have an, a lot more of an aggressive slope for going up on this one. So here we're going to go two blocks at a time, and I think that's how we're going to do it till the end there. Something like that. There we go, and another thing we could actually do if we remove that one 
and then we remove remove these two we could uh, take this one and push it out one step to make it even more interesting a lot of things when i do this designing in this game is a lot of like experimenting and finding new ways to do things and it, it kind of feels like you're playing one around with clay sort of like you're figuring out how you want to do it you maybe have like a base idea of what you want to do you maybe looked up some inspiration on google or on videos or in stonehearth in minecraft and uh, start with something and then later on you start to figure out how you want to have it after you experiment a lot because i'm not final with i'm what i'm doing at the moment it could definitely change a lot of places so for the moment i think like this one may look a little bit i don't know a little bit uh, weirdly shaped it feels a little bit squarish to me i may be changing that let's try a few little things and i'm not sure what i think about this roof that i made mm, like i said i'm a lot of experimenting and i think it's gonna look better if i remove that and let's do the same over here and then we're just gonna make another new roof over here and we're gonna try it out way around this way another thing we could do would be to remove the corners like we've done before that creates some extra interesting shape to the building as well I guess it depends a little bit on what style you're going for. But let's give it a go. And then we can kind of have the same thing around if you want to as we had before. I think it's looking a little bit better, but we can add a lot of things to this as we go. And I think it's going to turn into something better as we go. And I want to try to make the little roof that we're going to have above here. This roof is going to be pretty simple to do. And we can just go like that. And maybe want it to be going up too at the middle there. I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. So it goes like that. One block in like so. And then we're probably going to have um, a window or two on this one. So with some small window, we can put one in the middle, that will do pretty good. I see that I have actually not made them the same on the wall here, so let's go back and revisit this. I thought it was kind of weird how I could get that window in the middle, because usually it can't go in the middle if you're doing odd numbers, right? So we're gonna do two windows there and two windows on this side. And what we can do here would be to change the color of this one. To have it be like a brown color to mix around the coloring a little bit to not have the same everywhere. And as we start to paint on this one even more like adding a few variation of the shade, I think it's going to look even better. Then we need a few, few bright ones. Something like that. And then we do the same everywhere here. So let's just do that for a bit. So I think it's looking already better. I didn't like the big, big bright spot I did on that one. It looks a bit better on this one maybe. So like that, looking better. And then we're going to do some darker shades on this one. Let's not forget the roof over here. This roof do not want to be forgotten. There we go. Awesome. So that's going to be nice. And like I said, we're going to be adding a lot of things to this as we go. And we may be tweaking a few things here and there as well. 
So I kind of want to add maybe a little bit of stone to this as well. A stone wall. And maybe we'll do that on this side. And we're going to change the wall to stone, that one. And uh, the column is going to be stone as well. Like that. And then we're going to push it down a bit, like so. And then we're just going to drag this over. Maybe like that. It's going to be quite a big uh, place, but uh, it's going to be useful for a lot of people. And it's going to create another interesting point of interest around town, I think. So, let's move this one over here. It is gonna, like I said, it's gonna kind of be like a wall around, and we could... Maybe, let's do that. Let's get this wall kind of all the way around. How far was this one? 27. Okay, it's 31. So, then uh, let's continue this way. I think we're gonna go make it go next to here, maybe. It's gonna go out like a bit two steps outside of here, so this might be a hard to share template because it's gonna be dependent on the terrain, and that's one of the problems with sharing templates sometimes. So we would have like a wall that goes around like that. And in, on the inside here, we want to have some, like, some target practices. And I'm gonna show you guys. We can work a little bit on that. So, we have a few different ones. Clay and archery target. Maybe that one will be the best. It's gonna be the one that pops out the most. The clay one is also pretty nice. Uh, but let's maybe have some... Uh, over here. We want to make sure we don't shoot towards our buildings, right? So having them there should be pretty good. And we, I also want to change the ground around. So I want to have some colors. I'm going to use some fetch colors with this, I think. Bump at the pa path. Yeah, let's go with that one. Oh, I guess we will see what we, which ones we're going to go with. Uh, but the idea is that we'll have it be a little bit as if it was dirt here, pretty much. That's the idea behind it. And uh, maybe a few stones here and there. I think it makes it pop a bit more than. So maybe something like that. So that's where the target practice. So archers will be standing in the back shooting that one. And we will actually be able to see that in the game. So I think that is actually pretty cool. And we want to be able to walk up here, and I'm not sure if we're gonna have like a tower on this wall. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe a building on the wall. That could be interesting. Or a stable. Just we gotta find a good place to fit those things. But first, I think we'll start with adding a floor on top of this. So let's go with that one. Got a little bit of texture on that one. There we go, that's gonna be our walls, and uh, we have to make them look good at the same time, right? So, we could like go like that and I guess remove every so and so. Uh, but it depends if how flat we want it to be. So I usually like to make them one block outside. be like that and we could have it just covered like that or we will be starting to split them up like something like this Some walls up, and uh, we probably want to add some details to these. 
And it doesn't look the same everywhere, I know that. So, maybe a little bit different. We can add that if you want to, maybe at the corners. Or maybe not. And we can also do this thing. Just to kind of match what I got above there. I think it may look a bit better that way. There we go. We also need to be able to go up here, right? And maybe we'll do that in the back over here. We can also do it from the building. So we've added a door to the side here. We will be able to go out on the top here. But we also may want to have a stair so we can get up with that one too. We can have that behind the practice. I think that's a pretty good spot for that. And if you want, we can also have some practice dummies, like for humans. Uh, let's look into that. Maybe some pots, that could be kind of fun. Uh, but maybe we'll go for... Let's go for some there. And uh, then we also want to change the color under here. And the reason we do that, because we can imagine that there has been soldiers practicing here a lot, right? And that probably has changed the ground around a bit. Because they've been walking around a lot there, and these might even be a little bit kind of connected with each other like this. And I'm gonna grab some more colors. To fancify it. Like that, they can go and practice over there. We are gonna make a gate as well. That's gonna be pretty nice when we add that. And uh, we probably should have something like this on the inside too, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have them go up like that, maybe. I guess we could do that, but this time we're gonna go all the way like this so we can save a little bit of time while doing this. We could have it fully covered if we want to. I think the best would be if we match what we got on the outside, that's probably gonna make it look the best. So here is a place where I'm not going to match it fully, I think it's going to look better this way, and I'm also going to do this for the staircase. I think that's going to make it look a bit better. So it's looking pretty protective, pretty dense, and I want to change the color here. Maybe we can do it like this way, just to kind of make them pop out a little bit more. And the middle part we may leave in the color they are. There we go, I think all has been colored. That's pretty awesome. And I think this may be a, like a multi-episode one because this is gonna take a long time. And that way guys, you guys can leave a feedback at the same time while we're building this so you guys can drop your suggestions. I do feel like we're off to a pretty good start with the town. Let's add a little bit more hair to make it even better. Windboards. Fancified. And if you want, we can even color the corners like this to kind of match it. Then uh, let's make the roof for this one. Let's make sure we change the columns, push it out, and let's do the same for this side. We 
go and we're gonna take these two and drag them up so this roof is gonna be kind of pointy after a little bit of while then it's gonna start to slope a little bit more aggressively and um, maybe not already there maybe here that's the aggressive slope there we go Nice, okay, and let's add a little bit of details. So I think they're starting to really come together guys, we have to add maybe a few more windows. So maybe some tall beautiful window, we have to have some beautiful light inside of our barrack. And we may be adding some chimneys and so on later on. Maybe at the back side we can have some small windows. Just experiment a bit. But guys, I think we're gonna leave it here for dead today and then we're gonna keep designing on this one so that way you guys will be able to give me suggestions for things that you guys think we should add, we should tweak for it and so on so you guys can come with some creative ideas. I'm leaning towards maybe adding a little tree and I may make this a little bit bigger towards this side, we will see. But guys, thanks for checking out today's episode. There was a lot of designing in this one. I hope you have enjoyed. Do let me know if you would like to See a little bit more of these signing videos such as this one. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like on the video. It helps me out really, really much. If you want to become a member, you can join this channel as well. And I want to thank my members here on YouTube. John Turk and Kotemerti as well for supporting me on YouTube as a member. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all had a great, great time. And see you guys next time. Have a good, good, good rest of your day. Take care.